This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Amy Tibben back with me. You are the Outreach Coordinator at the Beth Donovan Hospice in Kempfell. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah, thank you for having us. Now, you had an annual event that happened, I believe it was May 29th, your hike for hospice. How did it go? It was wonderful. We had beautiful weather that day and lots of participants came out with their dogs and their friends and family and hiked in honor of someone that they loved. And it was a, just a wonderful event. And to top it all off, we beat our fundraising goal. Um, so we raised over $15,000, which is wow. just remarkable. And so thankful to our communities and um, our, all of our generous supporters. Now, how long has that been going on for, the Hike for Hospice? So we've been doing this as a fundraiser for 12 years. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be neat if for 12 years we could raise $12,000? And then to surpass that has just been the icing on the cake. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, you just know how important the, the hospice is to people in the North Grenville area, for sure, too. Maybe you can talk a little bit about what the Beth Donovan Hospice does. Yeah, absolutely. So we provide support to North Grenville, so Kempville and area and beyond, all the way up to um, Merrickville and area up to North Gore, um, even down um, past Spencerville and just we just kind of catch North Augusta. And um, we provide service to people who need support to stay in their homes. Um, so we'll provide medical equipment, loans of wheelchairs, commodes, bath benches, bed rails, whatever people might need to stay safe. Um, and we also provide um, in-home volunteers who can go in and sit with clients in their homes so that their caregivers can get a little bit of respite. We also have a wonderful day hospice program where clients can come for a day away. Um, they get to meet other people, um, you know, play cards, listen to music, maybe sign up for a massage. Um, they enjoy a nice meal while their caregivers um, get some respite, some time to themselves. We also have, oh, and I should mention, we have an extensive bereavement program as well with all kinds of supports. Absolutely. And that's one of the things we want to talk about right now, too, is you have a bereavement walking group coming up. Yeah, this is a new group for us. Um, it just launched actually the Monday after the hike, but people can register at any time. To register for the group, they just need to give us a call um, at hospice. Our phone number is 258-9611. Um, and the, this group meets on Mondays at the Ferguson Forest Center. Um, and they go walking for about an hour um, and all walking capabilities are welcome. And, um, you know, you're meeting with the group of people who are also bereaved and going through similar experiences and you can talk if you want to or don't talk if that's not what you need. Just enjoy the relaxed exercise, the fresh air, the sunshine, the beauty of the Ferguson Forest Center, whatever it is you need. And the Ferguson Forest Center has, has done their best at making it as accessible as possible too for people with walkers and for, and for people in wheelchairs as well. Absolutely. And there's um, also um, many different trail lengths as well. So you participate in whatever way works for you. So this was just a, a, an offset of the hike for hospice, uh, the walking, the bereavement walking group. What a great idea. Yeah, it's sort of kind of paired up nicely, right? But it's, uh, yeah, it's a part of our extensive bereavement program. And so we offer all kinds of supports for people, free counseling, as well as bereavement coffee, caregiver coffee, things like guided journaling, meditation, and people can go to our website to find out more about those programs. And you know, you, you, you guys are such a great resource too, because some people have this mindset, you should be bereaving for maybe a couple of months sort of thing. And I mean, it could be 20 years and you're still having a hard time with it. Reach out reach out and, and and in whatever way you know if you need one-on-one -on -one counseling or if you prefer a group or if you prefer to be outside or you know um that's what's great about the guided journaling is you can do that activity on your own at your own pace so yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. absolutely now you you're celebrating a big anniversary this year too yeah, so many exciting things. This is 30 years that we've been providing service um, to the area. Of course, we started in Merrickville. We still provide service 
service to those folks over there. And um, the community has really been supporting us for 30 years and we in turn support them when they need us. It's been a wonderful relationship. Um, and we really wanna build on that relationship and we're hoping to raise $30,000 for 30 years of service to this incredible community and thank them for their continued support to us. Um, I think it's just really important that we work together. Um, that's what makes our organization so wonderful. And so we're really challenging local businesses, organizations, individuals um, to come up with great fundraising ideas, whatever works for them. Um, we're hoping that businesses will sell paper butterflies um, in their stores. We're hoping that, um, you know, we had a, an individual, um, the Garrison Brothers Band, um, or sorry, Garrison Blues Band, uh, reached out to us and they want to hold a fundraising concert in Osgood um, at Vibration Studios in August. So that's coming up on August 6th. We said, sure, yeah, throw a, con throw a concert, throw a fundraising event for us um, and, and help support your community hospice. So. Um, they're going to do that and, and any businesses, you know, if you want to do a specialty cupcake or coffee and donate a portion of the proceeds to the hospice, we're really looking for people to come up with unique, creative, fun ways to help celebrate our 30 years here. And I mean, we're just going came through the pandemic, things are opening up, you, you must be seeing a lot more events going on now and, the, and just the freedom of being able to get out and, and celebrate and uh, uh, before the pandemic, so many people had events like you were just saying, you know, they bought coffees, they, they put on a, an event and the, the money went to the hospice and, and uh, you must be seeing that now. Yeah, it's really nice to kind of get out and start to feel connected again, yes. connected to your community and the organizations and the businesses and the people in it, because um, that's really when we're at our best, isn't it? It is. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And, you know, we're so lucky we live in a small community where we can keep it that way, too. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. We, we all know each other, that's for sure. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. 30 years the hospice has been around, too. I mean, uh, yeah, I knew Beth Donovan, and she'd be so proud of everything that you have uh, have become in her name. She would be so proud of this. Uh, and it's, you know, it's our pleasure to do that. We want our community to be proud of us as well. Um, and uh, we are only as good as the people who support us. So um, if you have any creative ideas to help us raise 30,000 for 30 years, uh, reach out. Um, you can connect with us. All of our information is on our website at bethdonovanhospice.ca. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining us. Where is the, your, your location? Where is it physically? Yeah, we're um, 1107 French Settlement Road, so just east of Kempville. Um, yeah, so when you head out of town over the overpass, um, you'll see Van Buren Street there, and we're, we're just on French Settlement Road there. And our beautiful building here, which we just love, and I'm, I'm actually staring out the window at our, our gorgeous backyard and our healing garden and labyrinth, and um, people are welcome to stop by and visit um, the healing garden and the labyrinth. Um, and we're going to have a open house on September 28th too for our 30th anniversary. So excellent, excellent. We'll be able to come and see the hospital. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us again today, Amy Tibbin. You're the outreach coordinator at the Beth Donovan Hospice in Kempfell. Thank you very much for joining us, and let's raise thirty thousand dollars for 30 years. Yes, yes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Thanks.